So to find the amplitude in a period of a sine or cosine um, equation or function, the amplitude is simply just the absolute value of A. OK? It is cosine? OK, well, cosine and sine are going to be exactly the same, so we'll do this one as sine. Um, it's just, yeah, we're just finding absolute value. All I wanted you guys to do for this problem was just find the app. Well, even though if it's just amplitude or period, I think for number 12, you just had to find the period, right? Yeah, well, I'll just do amplitude and period anyways. It's also 2x, not 2 Oh, yes, you're right. Thank you. All right, so the amplitude is the absolute value of 1 fourth, which is just 1 fourth. Right? Absolute value is always going to be positive. So if it's negative, it's going to be positive. If it's positive, it's going to be positive. Um, the period. The period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. Now, this one can bring in some problems because we need to remember, first of all, where is b? And how does b relate to in this problem? b is the coefficient of our, of our input value. Yes? So what we need to do is identify the coefficient of our input value. Okay, The coefficient of our input value, a lot of you guys might say, well, it's 2, which, yes, 2 is being multiplied by x. However, we also need to understand that, yes, 2 is being multiplied by x, but 2 is also being divided by 3. <coughs> so we just need to understand that, yes, 2x divided by 3, when we're writing like angles, a lot of times you know, we wrote that, especially like um, 2 pi over 4 and so forth. But in the terms of this, when we're trying to find the coefficient, just understand that 2x divided by 3 is the same thing as 2 thirds times x. Do you guys agree with me? But by putting it in this way, we can see that b is actually 2 thirds, not 2. Because it is 2, but 2 is divided by 3. So therefore, I have 2 pi divided by 2 thirds. And I have a lifelong goal of having students that whenever they see fractions, not freaking out and understanding, oh, wow, I always said Mr. McLogan, and he always said whenever you're dividing by a fraction or have um, frac division of fractions, you just need to get the fraction off the denominator by multiplying by the reciprocal. 2 thirds times 3 halves is just going to be 1. Now I have 2 pi times 3 over 2. Those divide out, and I'm left with 3 Yes? Does everybody see 2 pi over 1 times 3 over 2? Yes? No? Question? Yes? Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean? You can, yeah, so you simplify it. You don't want to have a fraction divided by another fraction. That's not really simplified terms. And plus, we want to figure out the period, which in this case is 3 pi. Yes? OK, so you said b was an input, right? No, x is your input value, right? Input, <laughs> output. Okay, good. Input, so output. b is the coefficient. No, it's the coefficient of your input value. Because that could change. It could be theta. It could be t. You know, we don't know what the input value is. That could always change. In this case, they're using x and 